I am an African, a very proud African, and I'm into farming. And so I know quite a lot about plants and seeds. When I grow crops that produces seeds and I harvest them, I know I don't have to worry about seeds for the next crop season because the seeds in the harvested crops will be good enough for the next crop season. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the tradition observed all over the world from the very beginning of human existence. In fact, that's how the world's food cycle has been preserved and sustained. But in recent times, you grow a crop like maize and you harvest them. And you store some portion of it as seeds for the next crop season. But when that time comes and you have to replant those maize seeds that you stored, it fails to germinate or very few germinates. Ladies and gentlemen, then it becomes a problem. The cycle we have known since the beginning of time seems to be broken or undergoing some drastic changes. Because this time, when you harvest crops with seeds, you wouldn't need its seeds to replant that crop because you cannot be sure the seeds will germinate. And so, you have to resort to buying new seeds at the beginning of every crop season. Ladies and gentlemen, they call them improved seeds. I mean, these new seeds you have to buy. And indeed, they look quite different from the traditional seeds we used to plant. They are bulkier, juicier, and with a different color. Ladies and gentlemen, something is happening to the seeds we are used to. The ones we knew, something is happening to them. Some of these so-called improved seeds die after one harvest. They cannot go beyond one cycle. We are told due to climatic changes and the new types of crops, pests, and diseases, seeds will have to be improved. So certain clinical adjustments have been made to these seeds to make them resilient to the elements that fight them. And we are also told these clinical adjustments aren't harmful to our bodies. And I'm wondering, could that be the whole truth, ladies and gentlemen?